Terrence Crawford is wrong on this one. I think that he and Errol Spence both needed this fight to help their legacy. If they wouldn't have fought, then people would not have taken their career seriously because when you look back at their fights, as exciting as they were and can be, they don't have that one trilogy that people can go to and say, yeah, this was a, le a legendary moment in time. You know what I mean? Whenever you think about the best moments and the greatest fights, every single legendary boxer that goes in the Hall of Fame has that one fight or at least that one trilogy where you can say, man, like this, this, it, it, this was a movie. You know what I mean? Um, everybody know the Ali and the Joe, the Joe Frazier's and, 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 and him fighting uh, George Foreman. Like you need those type of fights. You know what I mean? And Bernard Hawkins, Roy Jones, they had a rivalry. Um, Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns, you need those type of fights to be able to submit yourself in history. People are not going to care about your career if y'all just fought nobodies and y'all beat the same people. So at that point, it's like y'all might as well fight each other after that. You know, they both fought Kell Brook. They both fought Sean Porter and they both beat him. So that probably mean, you know what I mean? Who, who next on the list? It should be them two. Um, I understand where he coming from. I know what he probably really mean. I mean, yeah, he don't need to fight him. I mean, it wouldn't have matter. Everybody knows he a talented fighter. But I don't think their, both of their careers would have held any weight if we're talking about pound for pound greatest of all time. I don't think nobody would even put them at top five if they didn't fight. 